Ammon came to me one day and said, you've got to be a pacifist. And I said, how's that? He said, well, you act out a lot. It's a lot of violent behavior. And I was, you know, I was very angry, very angry person. And um, you just act out a lot. And uh, you, you brawl a lot. And you're not any good at it. You're the one that keeps getting thrown through the front door, and I'm tired of fixing the damn thing. You've got to be a pacifist. Um, he had a more fundamentalist way of looking at it. Uh, and I said, what's that? He said, well, I could give you a book by Gandhi, but you wouldn't read it. So he, but he said, you got to look at, at, um, at nonviolence like um, your capacity for violence like an alcoholic looks at booze. Alcohol, booze will kill an alcoholic unless he has the courage to sit in a circle of people that are like that, put his hand up and say, hi, my name's Utah, I'm an alcoholic. But then you can, you, once you own the behavior, you can deal with it, you know, you can have it defined for you by the, the uh, people whose lives you've messed with. And it's not going to go away. 20 years sober, you're, you're not going to sit in that circle and say, well, I'm not an alcoholic anymore. You're going to put up your hand and say, my name's Utah, I'm an alcoholic. He said it's the same with violence. You acknowledge your capacity for violence you see, and you learn how to deal with it every day, every instant, in every situation for the rest of your life, because it's not going to go away, but it'll save your life, see. It's a different way of looking at pacifism. I have to be a pacifist, you see. So I said, okay, I'll do that, Ammon, and he said, it's not enough, and I said, oh. He said, you were born a white man in mid-20th century industrial America. You came into the world armed to the teeth with an arsenal of weapons, the weapons of privilege, economic privilege, racial privilege, sexual privilege. You're going to be a pacifist. You're not just going to lay down guns and fists and knives and hard, angry words. You're going to have to lay down the weapons of privilege and go into the world completely disarmed. Well, you try that. I've, I've been at it. Ammon died over 30 years ago, and I'm still at it. But if there's one struggle that animates my life, it's probably that one.